eagerness. You know, most of them are trying to go for the really hard linkers. More specifically, um, um the, uh, heavy link into crouch and jab. Into, uh, another... Uh, into a light wing kick and into a strong kick or a strong uh, punch. This really is, is Jago's actually Jago's hardest slinkers. Uh oh. The present controller. Can it be that Flex is getting his groove back? Oh! Oh, nice break by Stanky. What's Stanky gonna do here? It's instinct. He's got to do something with it. The flex says, no, I'm going to throw you. I'm going to keep you on the ground, not let you move or gain any kind of health. Stanky trying to find a way in. 10% instinct left. Manages to get a bit of health. This is all his meter. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> Doing the double manuals. Oh. Man, like, I, I just, I like, as I watch this match, I want to stay so silent and just watch. Cause it's like, it's so fun watching these two guys play. Nice hit. Stanky, just like that, bringing it back. Has a really good chance of coming back. Again, Flexi, he does have that instinct. Ready to be 100%. I don't think I've ever seen anyone pull off a double main man. Yeah, Nick, um, you can actually pull triple manuals, but you have to act either have them in the corner or you have to use a different set of manuals for like a triple. You can do a quadruple and you can do a, a quintuple or you can do five manuals in a row. But if you do it all as openers, it actually knocks the person out of the KV. It blows them out of the KV meter. It's too high. You can't really, uh, you cannot put a manual in it. Flexi coming back. <laughs> I'm afraid your path ends here. Awesome victory. Yeah, Quinn yeah, Quintuple. Yeah. Uh Taz Nasty? I don't know, dude. I think maybe because he I guess he gave up, I suppose. I don't know. I would have assumed he, you know, like after losing to PR Balrog, PR Balrog, I can only imagine it was just like a, you know, like the will to win was just kind of like shattered maybe. Because, you know, losing that way, it, it, it kills morale like crazy. You know what I mean? So trying to find the will to keep going after that, it, it can be extremely difficult. Extremely difficult. So I don't know. Yeah, um, Nick, if you have some time, man, I'll probably show uh, the stream after this to do a, uh, a quintuple manual. Quintuple manual. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh! Three, four, five. Let me see if you have a plan for Jiggle. Um, if he had any tech. I can tell you right now, none of it shined or showed for that match because Ricky just completely, he com Ricky completely dominated those games with his full board. If any, if there was any tech to be shown in that match, it was definitely Ricky's full board's usage of the pips and the constant frame trapping and the constant, you know, like, like what he was doing. Like if, if there was anything to be seen, it was Ricky's full board because holy crap. Yeah, man, Ricky was amazing, absolutely amazing. I wish, I wish he would have played Full War from the very beginning, so we could 
see like what he does like, against everybody. And you know for sure that's gonna make a lot of people play Soul War again. I mean, yeah, you can DP out of it, Kyrie, but the thing is, like, if you have like an open mind, wow, nice counter break. With an open mind, you can, you know, if you're really reading your character, you can immediately stop doing it and bait out a DP. And you notice Ricky kept doing it over and over and over and over again, and CD Jr. wasn't DPing anything, so Ricky had all the freedom to do that freely. All that free pressure, you know what I mean? So I'm sure if he was playing against somebody that knew that setup and was going to go for DP, I'm pretty sure Ricky would have thought otherwise and tried to stop doing it to bait out a DP, you know what I mean? That's true. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's not that experienced on, on utilizing it a lot on higher level players, but you gotta see, you gotta give the man credit, man. That was pretty damn amazing that he was using Fulgore that way because it's, it's definitely, a, a, I would say it's part of his core game style of zoning and rushdown, you know what I mean? Lexi takes it again. I'm afraid your path ends here. Yeah, man, Ricky's amazing. We'll see if I can uh, set up some games between me and him on stream, and if you can pull all that stuff, that'll be amazing too. I want him to whoop my booty with full war. <laughs> you can send me a message, man. Yeah, that's no problem. I mean, I just don't know how, if you really want to donate something, I'm not sure how you would do it other than just PayPal, you know? Now, we're talking about Ricky, ASAP Ricky, not Rico. ASAP Ricky is a Sidira player, but he changed to Fulgore uh, later on in that match. The thing is, with Fulgore, you do have have the uh, the ability to you know like cancel every single pip to like a special move. But you know, again, it, it will take an extreme genius to use every single pip to its you know to its purpose, one hundred and ten percent, not just using it as a pressure tool. Because again, you can DP him at uh, you know you can dragon punch him out of it. But utilizing everything for just every single moment for an any for an any or switching one, one thing for the last second and for it, you know, hitting and stuff. Now that's that's true difficulty. Oh my god, the flex is special. Oh my goodness, here it goes! Oh, uh, you can't continue. Honestly, like his, yeah, his teleports actually avoided a lot of, it avoided like vital shadows at the last possible second. No worries, mixing. I've been getting plenty of practice. You don't have to worry about that. This is actually my break. <laughs> right afterwards, I'm going right back in. Alright, take it easy, Gamer LCD. My goodness, Flexi is just on a rampage right now. Your path ends here. He's on a rampage. Wow, five two. Uh oh. got another donation <laughs> mr vigilante 12 saying take my money 
donated $2.50 to the stream. My man, thank you so much for the donation. Always awesome, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, no worries, Mixing. I know I know what I did wrong. MLG showed everything that I did wrong. And, and, and that's definitely something I was incredibly disappointed about, about myself. Because uh, but that type of thing I'm very familiar with. And I have done in uh, you know plenty of games. And I'm, I'm very familiar with it. But at the time, you know, I wasn't thinking about it. And at that time, I was just not... I was just not in the groove, you know, I wasn't thinking about it and it, it went past my mind and I became stuck, but now I know. <laughs> These guys just... Battling it out back and forth, trying to get some kind of momentum on each other. Here, there's already plenty of you online as it is. <laughs> No, Nick, he, he, he's a perfect combination of being the biggest dick and being the biggest pervert ever. Lexi taking it again. Stanky needs to come back, man. He needs to come back with a force to take this man down. Because this secret boss is on a rampage right now. Six wins in a row. He's aiming for ten wins in a row. Amazing stuff, man. I'm so happy to see Flexi playing, man. Such an awesome player. And a good friend, too. I'm going to evil with the mindset of I'm I'm going to fix everything that I did wrong and then I'm gonna play everybody and give everyone hell. And most definitely I want to win all yes. Stank is doing a lot of wing kicks is because he's trying to avoid a low that Flexi might do, but twice in a row, Flexi did not fall for it and actually managed to throw it. Let's see if Stanky can mix things up, because he's gonna, he's gonna need to mix things up as Flexi shadow countering and, and just overall countering Stank in every single way possible. But always have faith in Stanky, folks. You've seen him do some magical things before, and one of them is definitely not turning the screen dark. I'm going to EVO with the mindset of that I've worked incredibly hard in this game, fixing my flaws and winning it all. 
So no worries, guys. 